Yo, hey, what's up? It's your boy Kobe Maxwell, and you're watching All Access with Diamond on bspronetwork.com. This is All Access with the Girl Diamond, and we're on Mr. Kobe Maxwell. Isn't he cute? You gotta take that off because we gotta like see your eyes, you know? Okay. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I love you. I absolutely adore you. You're yes, phenomenal. You I do. And I mean, it's the music and now the movies and it's paparazzi. It's paparazzi. In the in the eye of the in the eye in the back. Tell me about that. Well, well, the the whole the whole story came with you know the night that I realized how much of camera and videos and photos and all those things is doing in our society these days, and I realized that there is some good positive to it and there are bad you know things also to it to that. Sometimes you turn on the camera and you're recording your own thing you know in your secret place and you never know where that is gonna get to, and um, I. Started writing about it, and um, it was you know how photographers comes after you know celebrities. Sometimes they invade your privacy. Sometimes, but I also realized that cameras and all these things is doing a lot of justice. Like people you know doing a crime and stuff, and they think nobody's watching them, but before they realize there's a camera somewhere that record them. So you know I wrote the story and came up with it, and you know get it where it is right now. So I in the dark, something is watching you in the deck so that's what paparazzi is about it's awesome because when you first told me you said i'm gonna want to do a movie and i'm just gonna try it out and i was like oh you do you you you're a musician stay there and to see from just the actual idea to the actual product and to see the transition i'm really excited to see this movie i already am and on top of that, you got the whole music thing going too. So how do you try, how do you balance that? I, I guess um, you know, artist is real. You know, really, an artist you perform, you're on stage, communicating with fans and all that. You're singing, you're in the studio, you're dancing, doing music video. You know, it's all about it's acting. You are acting. It just the difference is this one. You have a lines. You have to memorize it, and then you have to. You know, react to because acting is reacting, and sure. that it really become a lot of challenge. But it's not that distance between an a Kobe artist on stage performing. But you're not like a, you're not like acting, acting. Even though you do a little acting, but you're like a producer, and and you're doing the the whole <laughs> behind the scenes and, because you're always out there in in the open, and people love you. You know, and love your music, but to actually humble yourself and be behind the scenes for once, you know, that takes a lot. That takes yeah. a lot, right? Yeah, it was it was a it was a hard work for coming, you know, to accomplish it because I just I just feel that because I've been producing for a lot of African movies, you know, um, uh, this movie, the one I did all the soundtracks and stuff, it's a whole life, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, other stuff, but. Uh, when I see the way African movie, the, the industry is growing, and I feel like uh, producers and you know we gotta take it to we gotta take the step up, you know, That's honestly. True. So I was challenged, and I wanted to do this, and I wanted to do something different. So it was a you know difference is not easy. So it was a really challenge. I mean, being a producer, managing over 40 to 50 crew, and each of them drama and all that, but we still accomplished it, and um, it's it's gonna be great. I I can promise you that. You're gonna watch and one time appreciate African movie, Nollywood movie to a totally different level because we have to, you know, bring the world into it because the door is open and we have to bring it's the world true. into it. That's true. But you know the, the most amazing thing about paparazzi that I love is the diversity. Yeah. When you say Nollywood, you mostly think about Nigerians. But now here come paparazzi. Basically, brand new cast, new faces you've never seen before. Some familiar like Van Zegger, but he's 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 considered fresh compared to Genevieve, you know. So there are new faces, you know, and and we are, we love them. And I love the fact that you have like Nigerians, Nigerians, 
Americans, and Chinese, I mean, Jamaicans, yeah. it's a whole range of people. Yeah. And I think that's what I really admire about about that. And that, that has to be a lot of work. When is um, paparazzi coming out? What are we supposed to expect this really good movie to see? You know, a good production has a whole lot of uh, you know things <laughs> that goes to it. Man, so <laughs> I was looking for an answer, okay? <laughs> The, 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 you know, if I would say it will be between December and January because this period of time we are editing the movie and we need 90 days to edit the movie. So between by December or January, the movie is coming straight to your city, everywhere you are, mm. it's coming to you. So what are some of the city we should expect to have a premiere then? Oh my gosh, um, it's going to be o to? almost... Every city <laughs> that you represent will be there. Wow. Paparazzi is coming to you know take your picture. <laughs> so basically, yeah. But uh, I, um, it's a dynamic movie. It's gonna be um, different. It may not be you know just understand the story you know. And I believe that if we if you tell the story, your locations and everything has to really match with your story. You know, you can't talk about Hollywood. Somebody living large and you know all over the world and pretty much you know living in the village and stuff it doesn't really work so the movie is identifying the story so we should see lights camera action big house big cars big, hot girls yeah, models all of, them, all of them uh, i'm excited like you hot <laughs> ladies <laughs> and don't forget tina is here mm, you know don't 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 flatter us you're gonna see all of them you're the you know, in the deck so um definitely and van vika techidi jj bonnie um, Chet Annegre, uh, you know, I, I have an actress from um, Tari Perry's movie, Diary of Mad Black Woman. Yes, I think I've seen her picture yeah. on the side. Yeah, yeah, okay. she is phenomenal. She is the actress and uh, you're going to figure it out when the movie comes out. One thing, JJ Bunny, if you're watching this, honey, you got to get on the access with Diamond on BSBornetwork.com because you are just the new phenomenon. And Kobe here had an opportunity to work with you, and we need to talk to you. So if you're watching this, tell her, tell her. Hey Joy, they want you on VSPNetwork.com. Log in there and come on through. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So once again, I'm Diamond, and this is Miss Tina, and we are here with Kobe Maxwell on All Access with Diamond on VSPNetwork.com.